Are we on video this time? <laughs> All right. Catherine started recording me with my photographs. Everybody, <laughs> this is Pepper. She's a little camera shy, so hold on. Go, baby, go. <laughs> All right. So today's a little different. It's cold and wet outside, so I thought I'll snuggle up with a good book. Mm. Yesterday, you should have worked on synonyms, antonyms, and homonyms. <clears throat> You had to do page 250. Remember B. The answers are, number one, before field day had begun, you should have fixed that, we sang the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem. Number two was correct. Our principal was there, and the starting signal was given by her. Number three was incorrect. The students have showed good sportsmanship in the athletic contest. Showed should have been shown. Number four was incorrect. Jeremy and me were the fastest runners. You should say Jeremy and I. Number five was also incorrect. The students happily went home after they had ate their refreshments. They did not had ate. They had eaten. Page 251 is a crossword. You'll do that for class time today. And page two, six, two, 252 says the writer's friends, the dictionary, and the, the thesaurus. If you don't have either of those books at home, don't sweat it. We've kind of skimmed over this lesson, Miss Sula and I, so just do your best with what you've got. <clears throat> I'm going to read the green box. It says, Guess What? I know you're thinking chicken butt, but that's the actual <laughs> title. Guess What? By Leo Roston. Roston. Ro whatever. <laughs> The Admiral hated to snoop, so he left the bottle of shampoo just where he had found it, next to the tea and coffee. The bottle had a picture of a llama on the label. The Admiral's wife, who usually wore a gingham dress and moccasins when visiting their ranch on the Nebraska prairie, had just returned from, their chore, from her chores at the bank and the church bazaar. She was now helping the cook make the chowder and the goulash for lunch. The Admiral, Admiral heard them talking in the kitchen. Someone was playing a ukulele, which the Admiral did not like. So he turned on the radio and listened to the pretty marzuka, marzur, some M-word, by Chopin. It's spelled Chopin, but it's Chopin. Could be Chopin. Huh. Then he looked through his collection of pictures, mostly of boats and rafts and kayaks he had seen. When everyone sat down to eat, the principal of the kindergarten cried, At last! Hooray! And by accident, spilled the ketchup all over the taffy apples. This so amused another guest, who had just returned from a safari, that he pulled a toy pistol out of his sack and ran around the veranda, laughing like a maniac and firing his pistol at imaginary attackers. Pew, 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 pew! It was a grand party. There are 31 words that appear in our language that come from different languages. The gold box will tell you all about them. Go ahead and read through that box and then turn back and do the report. Do the crossword puzzle. Now, some homework. You have to know your memory verse by tomorrow. Your parents are going to ask you to write it without looking. So they can text me a picture for a grade. Wait a minute. It's Wednesday. By Friday. So they can do that. Also, on Friday, you're going to have a spelling test in which your parents will give you the word and you're going to need to spell it. So be sure that you're studying. Your, testing, your quizzes and tests for history and health are going to come from your reading and comprehension check questions. Be sure that you're actually doing them and working hard to study. Just like we were in school, you still have to study a little bit every day so that you're prepared for the test. Well... I think I'll find a better book. Uh, I've got homework to do for my class, too. So I'll catch up with you later. Bye.